Bet Online is the world's most trusted betting platform and your number one source for everything football. Bet Online has every stat, every matchup, and even live odds and spreads to bet on during the games. You think you know your stuff? We'll get in on our $200,000 mega contest and pick five games against the spread every week for your chance at a weekly prizes at a share of 200 k $200,000. It's ridiculous. When the game's over, head on over to our online casino and get in a game of blackjack or poker or unwind with one of our over 150 slot games. Head to the website today to get in the action. Bet online. The game starts here. Harry yeah. Reese, here we got our AEW uh, fan. He's a true fan. You've watched every show, haven't you? Yes, I've watched. Well, Wait, well look, uh, every Rampage, Dynamite. Rampage. Yeah, every Diamond Dynamite I've definitely watched. Every right. collision. Some, some collisions. 90%. Fewer Rampage. Uh, good, Rampage. And then Rampage. Rampage for like 50% right. of them. 50% Rampage. Okay, let's let's talk about AEW. Um, so the, the, did, what was the joke? Get the numbers up for us, please. 702. 702, which I – which. Can I it's see the kind quarter of, hours? It's, it's either what? or, either or, disappoint or a good number because Caitlin Clark was in a playoff game. So you obviously she's been a significant ratings draw against anything else on TV, and I'd like to see what happened around nine thirty because about twenty after nine, okay, Caitlin Clark was uh, what do you call it? Or like like forty with about forty minutes left in Dynamite. The sun and the fever, the, the the sun went on a the fever went on like a 10, 12 point run and took the lead. They were down by ten points, so there was like there was like a good comeback with Kate Clark. Yeah, um, there, there was a dip at that nine fifteen to nine thirty. Okay, yeah, and, well, well, yeah, okay. So let me, but let me tell you, what, okay. So I'm gonna get this. We'll go over the show. There's really not a lot to talk about because they, this the show was advertised as a big show with a lot of title matches. Wasn't it their fifth so, year anniversary? Yeah, but it wasn't. There wasn't like a lot of vignettes and stuff. And this was just a show that they had hyped these matches for a while. These are the matches. Right? Can I tell you real quick before we start? The most interesting to me is why did not they not have MVP come out at the nine o'clock hour? Because they had their. They went to the ring with their tag match. They, they actually that that was their folk their feature match on the show. In my opinion, they actually did it right. A couple minutes before nine o'clock, they were going to the ring. All right, which is, which is supposed to do with your top thing, but but the show started off once again. I have no clue why they do this. They hyped the show for a while. They did not have any package at the beginning of the show explaining things that have been going on or just stuff. They went straight to Nigel McGuinness coming to the ring. We didn't know if Brian. This is so. I, I can't stand when they do stuff like this where you don't know if the guy's going to come out. Nigel McGuinness is dressed, ready to wrestle, and. They're acting like they don't know if Brian Danielson is there. Like, why would you like? Could you imagine this is the UFC and the guy got ready to sing and people said, "Hey, did the other guy get here yet?" It's like I don't know. Like, would you even get dressed? It's like, of course not. You know, so, this is so this is silly in my opinion. So they do the old school thing. Let, let me real, real, real quick, yeah. Sorry, because there's you know with Zoom, it's different. Do you still see the quarters or do you see the other thing I'm looking at? I see the other thing. Okay, so it just jumps screens. Okay, yeah, so I also I wanted to say for the guy that asked for ticket info, there was 8,319 tickets distributed. And as you can see, the last three years of Grand Slams, 19,079, 13,321, 11,263. So this is a big difference from oh, yeah. the first Grand Slam. Plus, there was, no, there was no, I mean, let's be honest. You got no, you got no MJF. You got no Edge. No Sasha. Edge is, uh, no Sasha, no Punk. No, you know, yeah, it's kind of, yeah. The, what, wow, you didn't put Sasha. Yeah, no Sasha on this show. No Jericho. Oh, you no would Swerve. think that that big signing that they would have. No Okada. Not like, only that. You, you not thought only that. I mean, that's good. Like, I don't, I don't know. Like, yeah. it's yours. not only that, bro. The biggest reason is the product's not hot like it used to be. Right. So and Nigel, also returning to the same place year after year after year after year, fans are going right. to get burned out. It's right. the same thing out here in Vegas. They they yeah. did the first pay per view after the pandemic at T Mobile Arena, and it was packed. Yeah. And then after that, it was lower and then lower. And it's the same thing. I mean, I think you got to just explore different markets. And that setup so, was, was kind of whack because previous ones made it look and seem like a big event. And this looked like any other dynamite. It, yeah. it did look like any other dynamite. There was no, you, there was no like big building feel, you know, at all. So, no. so basically Danielson eventually comes out. They have a, they have their match, bro. I'm sorry. Nigel did this spot where he had Danielson in the corner. Where he was like slapping him, bro. He looked like he was love tapping him, like he was like like a yeah, that was like brutal. Sissy. That was horrific. I'm like, yeah. what, dude, what are you? And then Danielson smacked him in yeah. the face. Yeah. And I think Brian was actually hot that 
looked so weak that he shot he smacked him for real like, you know, yeah, really? <laughs> that's like you know but that but it made it doesn't look good but it just highlighted but bro come on nigel's like you know but later like, di there was also some some of the punches brian was throwing in the in the mount position were kind of weak and i was thinking like maybe it's just two guys that know they both had head trauma issues and maybe there's I'm, I, yeah i don't know it this, some, i don't know they did their typical match but then this is a typical brian danielson match he sold like he was hurt for a shoot, like had nerve damage in his arms or something. It was selling the story. That's that he so overdone. Like, it's it, but he, every match he has, he, yep. he, does, he does something like that. And it's like, bro, his work. And the thing is, his work is solid and good enough that you don't have to go this extra thing to make everybody think like you're really hurt for a shoot because your work, your work looks better than than ninety percent of the guys on that show. Like like from a from a solid working standpoint, you know. But he put put him in the bell lock, and the, the McGinnis said thank you, and tapped out. So I don't know what the you know whatever. Yeah, I think it's I, just, swear I had, I had to I had to rewind it a couple of times. I thought he had said, and then I was like, no, he said thank you. Yeah. I thought that was I thought it would have been way better if he said. What did you What did you think of this segment, Harry? I think it was a little too long. I mean, well, I then, well, it's not over yet because then it gets ridiculous. Christian comes out because Daniels is selling his arms like he's got nerve damage. He's got the contract for to sign to cash in. He opens the contract. He's got the pen. Kip Sab- I'm not lying on this. I saw Kip it. Sabian sneaks up behind him and grabs the pen. So Danielson can't sign the contract so the match so the match is like Bro, that arm. sounds one hundred percent and runs after him. Runs to the back, they go through the curtain, and Pac and Claudio are standing there like ominously, like blocking him from like like grabbing that pen for like chasing Chibi down to grab the pen. And I was like, Harry, really, bro? Like, that could have only come from the mind of Tony. He what, thinks. What did you that, think of this spot, Harry? Trying to do too much. <laughs> I mean, why? Well, why, that, Harry? The kid Sabian you. has. Has been nothing in AEW TV yeah, for say. a long time. Yeah. Why the heck? I know that they've been trying to keep him involved, like in some of the there. There was a pretty decent vignette on Collision, if I recall correctly, with Christian and his family, and then Kip Sabian coming in. It, it was interesting, but it wasn't anything like, oh snap, that's gonna be cool. That's and what then I was this Bro, let's be honest. Okay, this is for, for but the story you wanted to tell there. Okay. Is that they don't the the Blackpool Combat Club does not want him cashing in. Brian Danielson is selling in the ring. He's his, his arm sink. He sees Christian walk out. All right, bro. This would have just been just have Claudio and and what's his name walk out huh. and stand right in front of Christian. Okay, then take him out. Maybe he, what's going on here? Then Luchasaurus and what's her name comes out. Wayne. Okay, Wayne. and there now you have a face off between two heel factions that are like serious. And Brian Daniels is in, bro. I'm sliding out, I'm climbing the rail, I'm getting out of here because you know, I'm hurt. So it's like, you know, bro, that, that would have been so much like a, a better way to shoot. Yeah, right. Have Moxley come out and attack Brian Danielson while he's in the ring or something like that. Yeah, gun. whatever. I, I, you know, I don't know, but but that was, yeah, just, yeah they were just trying was, to do too much. Right. They were trying to do too much. Let me I tell mean, you something. I wasn't into this feud. Old school fans are, because this is a feud from like 15 years ago. But that's the problem with this company. They assume you know this. No. And so I was not into this. Also, again, the same question I asked last week. Why is Danielson wrestling Nigel and not Darby? Okay. And I thought it was so hokey and so sophomoric of running up and taking the pen and the guy running after him. Okay, this is like high school. Do you, do you think this Not gets even heat? elementary? You think this so, gets heat? Come on, bro. Yo, what's up? I just want to thank you guys for watching this clip. Don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And join our YouTube membership for hours and hours of exclusive, unedited, uncensored content. And being a member will help you get involved in our upcoming live streams. Uh, Thank you for your support. Thank you for riding with us. I know you got a lot of other uh, podcast choices, be it wrestling or other ones. And thank you for picking us. Boom.